Hello! So, welcome back to a, another video. So, I made a video the other day explaining that I was going to be creating a WordPress theme uh, series. So, the first thing we're going to have to do for that series is install WordPress. Now, if you don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is a blogging platform which allows you to create posts, some pages, and just add content onto our website for all the world to see. Now, WordPress is free to download, and you can download it from WordPress.org. Now, I'll show you the whole installation process, but before you download it, you need to watch my uh, how to install a WAMP server video so you can actually run this on your local PC. So if you go and watch that and then come back to this video, you'll be able to carry on with the next steps in this process. So if I just open up my web browser. So as I was saying, you want to go to WordPress.org. Now there's WordPress.org and there's also WordPress.com. Now WordPress.com is the actual uh, hosted solution um, that you can actually use. So if I just go to that now, so as you can see here, you've got WordPress.com and you've also got WordPress.org. Now WordPress.com is you can register and your username is basically how people find your blog that's hosted uh, at WordPress.com. So let's just say, for example, I think I've registered Matt Saunders MCP uh, in the past. So what it would be, it would be Matt Saunders MCP dot WordPress dot com. And you don't have to look after the hosting. They do that all for you. But I think there are limitations to it that you can't have custom themes and all that sort of stuff. So, so just to show you the distinction between the two, the one that we're looking for is WordPress dot org. So when you come here, um, as you'll see, we've got all these tabs at the top and all, we, all we're interested in today is actually downloading WordPress and installing it. So here is the latest version 3.2.1 uh, as of the time of recording this. So if you download that to your PC and then we can then start with the installation. So I'm going to click on download and then all I have to do is just click this and it will download it to my PC. Okay, so I've downloaded that into my www folder inside of my WAMP folder. Now, all I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call this WordPress. And I'm just going to copy the download into the actual folder. And then all I'm going to do now is just right-click it and just extract uh, to here. So that will extract all the files out uh, into a folder. Okay, so now that's complete. We can get rid of the download. And what I'd like to do is keep all the files inside of the, the root of this folder. So I'm just going to go in here, copy the contents, and just paste it back one folder. And I can just remove that WordPress folder. So now inside of the root of WordPress, so if I go back in, we have all the files. Now, all we have to do to install this is a couple of things. We have to create a database. Once we've created the database, we need to then run the WordPress installation. So we'll do the database first. So you want to open up your web browser again, and you want to type in, uh, to, you want to go to the, the WAMP server, so you want to type in localhost, and if you change the port number, change the port number at the end as well. And as you can see here, here is our uh, WAMP server. So what we want is PHP MyAdmin, and then it opens up PHP MyAdmin, and as you can see here, we've got some databases already, and here is my PHP BB forum database I created in a previous video. So we need to create the data database, so we're going to call this WordPress, and we're just going to click on Create. And as you can see, that's created the database, and there's nothing inside of it at the moment. Um, so we need to rectify that. So I'm just going to remove the, my, the PHP MyAdmin at the end, and that brings us back to the WAMP server. Now all I'm going to do is click on the WordPress uh, folder here, and then this should open up the installation. So as you can see here, it says there doesn't seem to be a wp slash config.php uh, file. Now, all we have to do, if we go back to our folder structure over here, and if you look down at the list of the files, you will see a wp-config-sample.php. Now, this is just the this is the config file, but they call it sample just in case you have, have one in there already. It doesn't want to overwrite any information. So here, I'm just going to remove the dash sample and just enter on that. So now it says wp-config.php and now if we refresh this as you can see it's not complaining about that anymore but we do need to add some information into that file so I'm going to minimize this 
Now I'm going to open up this uh, wp-config file in Notepad. Okay, so as you can see, here are all the different settings and whatnot for it. Now we're only concerned with a couple of sections. So first of all, the database name. So this section here. So in between these quotes where it says database underscore name here, we're going to type in the word WordPress. And then underneath that, we've got MySQL database username. Now again, in between the, the uh, quotes, we're going to say the username is just going to be root. And underneath that, we've got a password section. So again, I'm just going to remove that because the password is blank by default because we're only testing and creating things at the moment. This isn't going to be a live uh, WordPress installation for people to connect to. And then the MySQL host name. So where is the database? That's on the PC. So we'll put in localhost. Now, with all that in place, what we can do, we can save this config file by pressing Control S. Now, if we close this and go back to our web browser, now if we hit refresh, so as you can see now, we're actually inside of the WordPress installation. Now we've added in the, the database information, you can now connect to it. So you get a bit of welcome text, and it's now asking for some information. So the site title, again, you can put whatever you like. For this, I'm going to put YouTube theme series and now it's asking us for a username now I'm not going to use admin for this I'm just going to put Matt and then we now need to enter in our password and then enter that in twice and then an email address so I'm just going to put in my email like that and I can't spell gmail gmail so and then you may as well leave in the tick box at the bottom here. Now all we have to do is click on install WordPress and then that'll be it done. So we click on that. And there you go. That's it. That's the installation of WordPress. You click on install and it does it all for you and we are good to go. So all we're going to have to do now is click on login. And here is the actual uh, uh, admin panel. So I'm going to type in my username and password. And as you can see, that logs me into the, the dashboard area, and we are good to go. Now, the final thing, I'm just going to save that password. The, now, the final thing to do is just have a look at the front end of the actual website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the local host with the port number and the forward slash uh, WordPress so we can see the front end of the website. And as you can see here, we now have WordPress installed and we have the front end of the actual website. Now, like I said, this whole series I'm going to be creating is going to be creating our custom, our own custom theme uh, that we can install on our WordPress site. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.